Welcome back to Back to the Future. We just had a little bit of soup, so now we're gonna head on up. Marty. The door, Marty. We're gonna head on off and try to talk to Doc again. Young Doc. So he sure does mumble a lot. Where is he? Crap, did we lose him already? No, Marty, stop staring at that. God, Telltale, fix your engines, please! Expectation value, but only if the coefficient of friction remains constant and the gravitational constant is variable. Oh, wrong button. Variable. Right. Is that even possible? Don't think, Emmett. Think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I. Oh. oh. Of the speed well, we got the that. Speed Let's go see old Doc and see if maybe he can translate what he was saying, because I am kind of curious. There's actually a Back to the Future comic book. I've not read it yet, but I've heard it's pretty good. So, uh, Doc, uh, younger you's kind of a dick. Uh, you seem to have a couple of daddy issues. You want to talk about that, man? So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. Uh, Good oh, grief! Oh. Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Alrighty. Um, was he trying to say that the world's a video game? Because, uh, no one tell Doc Brown he's right about that. This actually makes me want to go watch the movies again. I remember liking the first one. I don't remember the others. So I don't know if that's good or bad. But I may have to do a stream of just kind of relaxing and watching. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... Hamiltonian operator? Yeah! Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? From the planet Vulcan. In the future, I read a lot of Jules Verne. Well, it's like this. If you know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? I need your rocket power drill. I really need... Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. I really need the drill model. I really need a full-size. I need it tonight. Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket-powered drill today? 
Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal! Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> Shh! It's Kid Tannen! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Hmm. Well, that's not good, is it? Let's go to the soup kitchen. I mean, we saw uh, Artie McFly there once. Maybe we'll see him again. Hi. Hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. You're all kind of retarded, aren't you? Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. Oh, puppy! <laughs> Come, I know. Hi. Hi. Hold on. And now, puppy has been dealt with. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Ah, oh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Oh, I think it's a perfectly lovely soup, cue ball. <laughs> Excuse me. You talking to me? Yes. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor? So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean, used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Hmm. Salt, paprika, paisley, chili powder? Um, hmm... I think chili powder might work. Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> you got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Oh, I like you, ball. Let's 
see. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't gonna let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, uh, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are... Okay, that's well, the same thing. Subtle. We'll score that. I'll keep... Maybe we can just sneak in? <sighs> There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Help me, Emmett. Emmett? Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, that's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Alright. Technically, we could just... Hmm. Eureka! All right, let's see if we can try some of that new soup. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Okay, I I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Hmm. Paprika? 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 Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Paprika works. I think the chili powder actually was a good idea. I would be curious to try it now. Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Right. Come on! Damn it, game! Neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Can I take that? Damn it! I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. So we need to knock the pipes off the rack, I bet. <clears throat> what is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. Let's do something with the pipes. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. What do we have that we can use? 
No, huh? I wonder. Let's see. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Dang it! So quick. We'll try this one more time. Ahem. What is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. This is definitely something over there, but thanks to these very friendly not at all awkward controls. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Looks like these pipes... Hmm, so I guess it's not over here. Try messing up the door again and see if that works. <laughs> Maybe there's something I'm missing? Are those all cabbage soup? Last time I checked. Don't you have any other kinds of soup? No. I think I need to look at something first, since this is like old school style. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. It's kind of blocked off there, isn't it? Yeah, but what can you do? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Alright, let's try this one more time. Ahem. <clears throat> what is it, kid? I still think this... I'm gonna try this one more time. This is getting really freaking annoying. Emmett. Yes? Let's see. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep... Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. I hope Doc Jr.'s thing... Let's see. Anything we need in here? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Whatever. Let's see. Maybe we mess with it. Is there anything down here? No. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Ah, oh, curious. Okay, so I, I, I looked at the, um... The hints? I'm gonna get him to spice that ag or spice it again. Um. <clears throat> Mind if I look around it? Damn it, I didn't mean to press <clears> that. <throat> what? I still think. Maybe we have to toss something at it. Nice rack. Yeah, we. Looks like these pipes go in. Just not seeing what you have to do. So I don't think I can do anything here. I think I've been trying in vain. Let's look around. I mean, there is still that guy over here. Where the hell are you there? Game. 
Can we not control like a retarded monkey for like 10 seconds? What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What did you do? Oh! <clears throat> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett! Emmett! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! I believe we just did. <laughs> Ow! Fix me up! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! Well guys, next time we'll find out exactly what we're going to be doing with that hat. I'll see you guys then. Bye!